What's going on, guys? As a beer drinker or as a brewer, you would be amazed to experience the journey that a hop takes on its way into your glass. The experience of hop selection in the Pacific Northwest is an inspiring time that has to be seen to be believed. And in this video, we're going to show it to you. So crack a beer, sit back, and enjoy the life of a hop. These days, most hops begin their journey either in the lab by being bred or heavily analyzed. This environment enables complex analysis to understand the attributes of each breed and to determine their agronomic viability. Once certain varieties have been selected and commercialized, they are then propagated and prepared for planting every spring. This laborious undertaking, much like harvest, requires a dedicated workforce to get the plants started at the ideal growing time. From there, the hops enjoy careful stewardship where attentive care is given to their irrigation and growth to ensure things remain on the right track during the sun-drenched growing season. Once the hops have reached maturity, which typically falls in late August or early September, the energetic hop harvest begins. This process is a mad dash to get the hops off of the vine while they are determined to be at their very best and brightest. Highly refined, complex equipment is used to increase efficiency and throughput. Typically, the binds are harvested directly from their posts into an army of trucks. That army of trucks hauls the hops back to an amazing thing that's called the picking plant. Once there, there are several different technologies utilized to separate the hops from the bind. All of these technologies are highly mechanized and require elaborate, awe-inspiring facilities to operate. The picking plant entails a complex set of sifters and conveyors that separate the beautiful whole cone from the bind. On one hand, you have good, usable, whole cone, fresh hops beginning to make their way to the kiln. And on the other hand, you have the separated material making its way back out into the field. Witnessing this process is like enjoying a real life incredible machine. And as you take in the images currently on the screen, you can understand what I'm talking about. It's quite the scene. As the fresh hop cone is separated and sifted from its vine, the beautiful, preserved cones find their way on a belt ready for their next phase of life. Many farmers call this final traverse the money belt because this is where the good stuff is, on its way to the kiln where it will be dried. Once there, the wet hops are evenly distributed by mechanized equipment that create a shallow bed through which warm air can pass and slowly and steadily dry the hops. If you're lucky, you'll find those drying hops at the right temperature where a warm mist rises from the hops and the aroma fills the room. The drying process requires intensive and prolonged heat to remove a very specific amount of moisture from the hops. Once they are dried, they make their way down the amazing hop waterfall into what is called the cooling room. There, enormous piles of just harvested hops cool off and await their turn in the baler. Skilled artisans then hand wrap and enclose the bales while they meticulously prepare them for cold storage prior to the next step. Once the hops are baled, 
They are cored, tested, and sampled for brewers like Treehouse to assess and choose as part of our annual hop selection. This is a critical time that takes Treehouse several intense days to complete each harvest year. If you are not familiar with selection, what essentially happens is we enter a room where we receive those cores and we spend several hours determining which ones are sufficient for our needs and which ones won't work. Once we've made our selection, the next step is for those hops to be pelletized. We enjoy pelletized hops because of their ease of use and solid yields. Once hammer milled and pelletized, the hops are bagged in a foil bag flushed with nitrogen to protect them from UV light and oxygen before being boxed, pelletized, and shipped to brewers. Once these hops arrive at the brewery, they are analyzed one final time for quality control. Once approved, they can be utilized in brewing. They can either be added to our kettle or used in the cellar in a process we call dry hopping. The hops that are left over from dry hopping are composted once again and the circle of life continues from there. The final, final step is when delicious, hop-saturated goodness pours from our taps and into your glass, or is carefully packaged to be enjoyed at a place of your own choosing. So this miraculous process brings life into beer everywhere. And if you're watching this channel and you're anything like me, beer is one of life's greatest pleasures. If you enjoyed this content, we would appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel and we hope we can pour you a beer here at Treehouse soon. Thank you and take care.